Hello, it's me, Unicorn Guy, and today we're going to talk about something interesting. Interesting. More interesting than Windows 98, Windows 2000, or Vista, or Caillou, or anything like else. But my Nintendo collection, and I've got Virtual Boy right here. It's kind of cumbersome, I know, and big and bulky. But, um, being a Nintendo collector, I you know, I have to collect this type of stuff in order to complete my collection. Without Virtual Boy, I would not have a complete Nintendo collection. And I don't still. I still have to get um, <coughs> Game Boy. The original Game Boy. I want to see, uh, like, a calculator LED screen. And I still have to get uh, Legend of Zelda for that system. And I have... Um, some of the better games for Virtual Boy right here. I'm going to start talking about Virtual Boy first. I have Red Alarm. Nice game. It's it's like Star Fox. The only bad part is it's all wireframe. No texture at all. So it looks like a game that was never completed. And here's the box for Red Alarm. Came with the box, which was nice. And it wasn't that bad either. It was only like 20 bucks for this game. So, And Virtual Boy is kind of rare. That's a good thing. I have Wario Land. It's one of the better games for the Virtual Boy. I could have gotten Telro Boxer, but really wasn't feeling into a boxing game. Feeling more RPG. I've got Vertical Force. It's like an arcade shooter. Hmm. Arcade shooters are pretty good. Mario Tennis came with the system. And there's nothing I really can say about Mario Tennis, it's just tennis. But, and also Vertical Force came with the instruction booklet. Wish it came with a box, but I'll get whatever I can take. And now you may be saying, why would I want such a horrible system? It's a virtual boy. Look at it, it's big and cumbersome. You can hardly find a comfortable way to play it, although I have found this method works the best right here kind of but angling like that kind of playing it like that I could I could do this I could probably do this not in the subway Chicago of course but, you know if I had to play it somewhere I could do that but I really don't think at any place I could play it though but yeah I have, I have a quite extensive Nintendo collection I'm really a Nintendo fanboy. I even have, like, Nintendo stuff on my cell phone. It's... This is Nokia E71X. After coming off the blackjack, I needed another phone with a full keyboard. I just could not deal with the little teeny tiny keyboard with only nine keys, so... What's nice about this game is it has such a nice... I mean, phone has such a nice following, because it's Symbian. Um, different from like um, AT&T software, they run on all phones. Like if you just pick up a random cell phone from anywhere, like a flip phone or something like that, you usually have AT&T's operating system on there. Same for almost every phone. And then there's like Windows Mobile, which is just, you know, Windows Mobile, it's just like Windows. And there's Symbian, it's like Linux of the cell phones. And Legend of Zelda, the Hyrule Fantasy. This is the game that came out in Japan. We have Legend of Zelda 1, but they have Legend of Zelda. And the weird part is that the story is in English for this ROM on my cell phone right here. And I'll show you our Legend of Zelda right here. It's the same game, just few little differences, like titles not in Japanese, of course, and it's called The Legend of Zelda, not The Hyrule Fantasy Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Fantasy. So, yep. Yeah. And then, if I go over here to my Ottoman, I have laid out some of my favorite systems and my handhelds, of course. Right here is Game Boy Color. I only need Game Boy. 
All right, finish this whole collection. This is Game Boy Color. This right here was from a friend. Very nice friend. It's purple, transparent purple. And I have Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages. And there's a bootleg going on the internet. And this is the actual game right here. The bootleg is black, like this cartridge right here. It has a low quality sticker. Stickers like peeling at some pictures. It's all black, it does not say Game Boy Color, it just says Game Boy. And some of them actually do it so bad they just take the box of the actual game, they take a picture of the box, and just slap on here as a label. Not very easy. And then if you open it up, you see that it's very shoddily made too. Screams China. I'm not saying anything bad about China, it's just that if you're a Chinese citizen and you work in one of these factories and produces all these bootlegs, why? Honestly, why? And here's Legend of Zelda DX. This is the remake of just Legend of Zelda um, Link's Awakening for the I'm trying to think, Game Boy? Maybe Game Boy, I'm not sure. I don't have the original game. And as you see, it's been played a lot. This is actually, I got this one used from GameStop or a friend, I'm not sure. And you see he's been playing it non-stop probably. <laughs> Such a good game. I have Mario Brothers Deluxe and this is Pac-Man. Just a couple games my friend gave me. They're pretty good. Not the best. Uh, Yoshi, puzzle game, and Pokemon Gold and Silver. I have Pokemon Gold and Silver because it's a nice game. And um, I tried replacing the game save battery in there and I did do the battery. I did replace the battery, but I did replace the battery, but the problem is I kind of screwed up the game cartridge a little bit. I didn't mean to, but I kind of did. And I think this one came from a friend, I'm not sure. I remember I had gold be uh, silver before, but it has some weird st sticker on there. I think it came from like some boys and girls club. I'm not sure. I have, I have DSi, though, and um, some of my favorite games right there. Legend of Zelda, Trauma Center. Trauma Center is one of my favorite games right there. Pokemon and Horses. I have Legend of Zelda and Trauma Center, one of my two favorite games, one of the games I couldn't look without. The original DS, I like the original DS better than the DSi. Honestly, like, what can you do with a .3 megapixel camera? Nothing. I've got Legend of Zelda, the remake of um, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for a Super NES. This is a remake with four swords on it. I have Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. It's, that's the original one for Game Boy. Final Fantasy Advance, it's a good game. And Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls. Final Fantasy 1 and 2, I believe, are the remakes of the Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for this NES right there. So. Then I have um, Mario Advance, which is a remake of Mario 2 for the Game Boy. I mean, Mario 2 was originally for the NES, then they made a Super NES port, and then they made Game Boy port, which is nice. Harvest Moon, just a nice little farming game. Now, we couldn't have a true Nintendo collection without, you guessed it, NES. And I have, um, it's a complete NES system too. It came with two controllers, Mario, and came with a zapper. I did not put the stickers on there, but I just left the stickers on there, you know, because I didn't want to damage anything. The zapper works great. It's in pristine condition. It picks up all shots made. The only thing bad about it is that the points broke, but that's okay. And then of course you know I'd have Legend of Zelda for this respective system. I have Legend of Zelda right here. This is just um, just says Legend of Zelda one. Right here, this is the gold cart, gold official. The gold paint on here is really nice still, even though it's 25 years old, older than me. And here's Legend of Zelda 2. This one's not in such great condition, probably because the guy who owned it has been sliding it in and out of his poor NES system. This is Legend of Zelda 2 Venture of Link. This game is super hard. I can't get past the first boss. 
here he goes my N64 right here with um, Majora's Mask, Legend of Zelda. It's a gold holo cart. And since so many people pre ordered this game, what's rarer than the gold holo cart is finding like a gray cart. And it's transparent green. I have Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. This is not the gold cart though. 